We're seeing platforms glorify celebrities, their little outfits, homie, their jewelry, their personal lives, homie, so on and so forth. But it's a lot of meaningless bullshit, and people get upset, bro. I understand why, homie. People develop bonds. They develop attachments to celebrities, to positions, to false entitlements. Everybody believes that, hey, man, if I want to drink, homie, pop Xanax and wear a bunch of designer shit and blood diamonds and this and that, it didn't matter if those Gucci uh, jumpsuits are made by children in sweatshops overseas and they're dying slaves. It doesn't matter about all that bullshit because, hey, man, I want to satisfy my impulses. That's the way a lot of people carry themselves. So sometimes when we go in on shit, people kind of throw a fit. You know, they know they're safe uh, behind their keyboards. They know they can express their opinions. They know that they're disgruntled and they're allergic to reality, dog. So when they hear this shit, they start losing control of their bowels, homie. Like somebody took a leopard gecko and shoved it right where the sun don't shine, homie. Which would be the rectum. <laughs> it's crazy as all hell. But you know how we go in, bro. We're not trying to placate anybody. We're not trying to ride anybody's genitalia region. Now, if you don't like reality, you don't care about world destroying cycles, homie. You only care about celebrities. You only care about war stories when it comes to prison. This is not the channel for you, though. I'm going to let you know that straight up. If you don't like somebody utilizing a certain terminology that's not identical to yours, homie, you're not comfortable with people that aren't similar or identical to you, this ain't the channel for you, though. Simple and plain. Now, it's all about diversity, though. It's all about unity. It's all about sustainability. And if you're a real one, though, I don't care if you're a G from the hood or if you're not, dog. If you're a real individual, you don't only acknowledge what is comfortable and convenient. You know what I mean? And you don't insist on repeating your damn mistakes. None of us are perfect, fool. I made a lot of damn mistakes, homie. I was facing 25 to life at one point. Though. I spent majority of my life rotting in a fucking cage. It is what it is. You know what I mean? It's not something to be proud of. You know? I was stuck in a corrupt system. But most importantly, I wasn't able to evolve soon enough, homie, to prevent myself from wasting a lot of my life, homie. You know what I'm saying? But luckily, at some point, I realized that if I keep providing this system with ammunition that can and will be utilized against me, whose fault is that at some point? Once I identify a trap, if I continue to dive head first into that trap, whose fault is it at some point? Now, if other people are falling victim to that trap and many of them have failed to identify it, dog. That's another level, homie. If I identify the trap, I continue to dive headfirst in it. Not only am I sabotaging myself knowingly, right? But I'm failing to warn my fellow man about that trap. Which means I'm existing only for my own impulses, homie. And I'm being stubborn, dog. You know what I'm saying? And it, we're supposed to grow up at some point and lead by example. Especially when we start identifying the trap. Once you start realizing that, hey, wait a minute. Nothing kind of just manifests out of thin air. Nothing's really just coincidence after coincidence after coincidence. Things have a design to them. You know, there are people in power. And they're not going to sacrifice or relinquish their wealth and power to make sure we're all uh, in, unity, in unity alongside one another, homie, and sustainably living and valuing the important paramount life aspects, so on and so forth, and evolving and growing and learning from our mistakes, bro. That's not what helps the elite maintain their positions. The opposite helps them maintain their positions, bro. The more aware we become, the less convenient it is for them to encourage us to live like giant children for the meaningless bullshit. Now... When it comes to pharmaceutical corporations having everybody on dope, when it comes to, come on, all the materialistic possessions that are the corporations being shipped overseas to capitalize on slave labor. You know, a lot of people are glorifying bullshit. They're swallowing pills. They're, you know what I mean? They're wiling out because we think that's our entitlement, homie. We don't realize how it keeps people in power. Now, when people hear this shit, they have an allergic reaction, right? But I already mentioned that if you don't like reality, this ain't the channel for you. So no bitching and moaning. You should have. Dipped out a long time ago. If you want to live like a giant preschooler and you only want to satisfy yourself, dog. We don't dwell on nothing on this channel or platform, homie. We reflect on everything, dog. Because we're going to take a stand, homie. Somebody's got to do it. Everybody else just sitting around touching themselves, chugging Sky Vodka, popping Xanax, and then lying to themselves saying, well, it's my life. I do what I want, want. I'm like, well, guess what? Evil people in power rely upon you living for what you want, you want, dog. And it ain't going to fucking cut it. Real shit, homie. This ain't a Chuck E. Cheese, bro. Get up out the ball pen, dog. What I gotta do, homie? Shove a rattlesnake all up in your genitalia region till it bites your scrotum off? Cause I'll do it, bro. Metaphorically speaking. <laughs> it's crazy, though. You know how we do it, though, though. When you the, the motherfuckers, dog, they try to be all serious and cool and tough all the time, bro. Oh, my God, homie. And they try to be, you know, they don't got anything positive or solution-based to say. They only run their trap. If they're not glorifying an idiot for some meaningless bullshit, they're disrespecting somebody for no real solution-based purpose. I mean, you know what I mean? It should be a point to what we're doing and saying, dog. I mean, people get even pissed off about that, too. They're like, what? Oh, that makes me uncomfortable. There ain't no point to what I'm doing. I just want to live my life. Well, then do it, homeboy. No one said you can't, dog.
But go elsewhere if you want to be a straight bitch. Because right here, we're taking a stand, dog. We're not going to keep repeating our mistakes and try to rationalize that shit, fool. Especially that keeps creeps in power. Them's a goofies, homie. And we don't care, dogs. A lot of people feel like it's already past the point of return. You know what I'm saying? They don't really speak on doing time. They don't really speak on being in the streets. They don't really speak on that shit to deter individuals. They don't try to figure out a solution regarding why poverty and gangs manifest. Why these cycles are created and perpetuated and continued, homie. And promoted and fueled, homie. And then nothing manifests from thin air at all. But if you don't want to identify the trap, you're going to continue falling Grab the pipe, put them on a date. Green light, take fly, put them on a plane. 